Hello, this is Alex Eames from raspi.tv. Which is something that we call a new out-of-box experience for Raspberry Pi. Um, yes, if you work out what that stands for. Um, so the, one of the issues, and um, always has been an issue with Raspberry Pi, is that when people first get Raspberry Pi, they don't really know what to do with it. Um, and quite often, actually, the main issue is like, they get it and they just, it's, it's not what they expected. It's kind of like a PCB. And um, you, know, the, you know, a lot of people don't expect it. You guys, I'm sure, most of you are relatively happy with it, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Um, but there's a lot of people who you know, wouldn't buy it or find it difficult because you know, they, they don't know what to do with it when they first get it. So the new Xbox experience is there to try to improve that first, the first contact with Raspberry Pi. So basically what it is, um, is a new image for the SD card. Um, and it changes what we've done slightly with the SD card. Currently, you have to get an SD card and you have to image your SD card. And that is quite a problem for a lot of people. I mean, even people who are relatively technically uh, savvy find it quite a problem with, image, with imaging SD cards. Um, so what we've done is we've added a partition to our standard image. And this is what we call the recovery partition. And um, on this recovery partition, we actually store specific um, images of different releases, such as Raspbian, RaspBMC, OpenLEC, Arch, um, RISCOS, etc. Um, and what it also does is, uh, it, when it boots, um, rather than having, previously you used to have two partitions, you have a fat partition, which is the thing that the, the, the chip actually boots from, and then you have your X4 partition, which is, or, or whatever uh, partition that you have, which is what the Linux or, or RISCOS or whatever it runs from. Um, what we now have is three. So the first one is recovery partition. That is completely, you know, as far as we're concerned, it's read only. It doesn't get touched. Uh, the second partition is then your FAT partition, that the, isn't the normal booting partition. And then you have a third partition, which is then. So the idea is you never ever touch the recovery partition. Uh, that way, um, all of the problems with, uh, like somebody said earlier, is uh, yeah, it crashed my box. Uh, can actually get uh, recovered by uh, basically overwrite everything. So literally you just re-image your card, but you do it by just booting up, holding down a shift key, uh, and it comes up with a menu and you choose which one you want, and it will then <coughs> your card. Um, I was going to do a demo, so I, I can do, I'll set it up and show you a demo a little bit, uh, a little bit later. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so um, that's a really cool thing that we, uh, that we we're very proud of it. It's taken uh, um, a couple of weeks of intense work to actually get it working, and I think it's quite impressive, especially in considering the amount of uh, the amount of uh, work it has to do and the short period of time in which it has to boot. Um, uh, but yes, yeah, so that's very good. Uh, so that's about it for them. <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe to the Raspberry TV YouTube channel, when the video finishes, click on the I and click subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.